Morning. We're talking about the lifespan of your dogs. I happen to be home visiting my parents over Easter, and their dogs are 11 now. It's uh, kind of, you know, they're getting older. It's a little sad to see. I remember when they were little puppies, but. And they're uh, shepherds? Uh, they're actually a Doberman lab mix. Dobermans, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, they're, they're mutts, but great dogs, loving, loving dogs. But they're slowing down. And you were saying, depending on the breed and size of your dog, you're going to notice different trends in how they age. You are. The cells are going to be developing um, and reproducing rapidly in a larger breed dog, so they're going to age a lot quicker. And there's a lot more chance of something going wrong in a large breed dog than there is uh, a small breed dog, which shortens their lifespan, unfortunately, yeah. because how great are big dogs? You have some great statistics you brought in for us. Let's pull up these numbers here. Yeah. It kind of shows, you were saying that that time seven isn't true yeah. really for well, a dog. Well, no, dog. and it's a good rule, but they, you know, they always say, well, multiply your pet's age in by seven and that will be what they are in people years or human years yeah it's not true uh, they tend to age quicker in the beginning so for the first year of life you have to multiply it by 15 wow. and that's what your pet is um, in human years three again they're still developing so quickly so you can't use the multiply by seven rule but in the middle age towards the five six seven eight yeah. nine you know it, it almost does apply um, as your pet starts to age 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 years, yeah. it starts to slow down again. Um, you know, the, when your pet is actually 17 in a small breed dog, it's the equivalent of 120 wow. years in people years. Wow. So it, it adds up quickly, yeah. but they do age a lot faster than we do without a doubt. Yeah, I know just, for, I mentioned my parents' dogs earlier, they look like they would, that time seven for an 11 year dog, they look it, they're, they're slowing down. Yeah. But, uh, you were saying, so, you know, when you go in and you, you buy a dog or you, you bring home a new family member, um, you, how long is, you know, I mean, if you have a, what, what are some of the longer breeds you see as far as uh, in some of maybe the shorter uh, lifespan breeds? Yeah, well, see? in terms of the large breed dogs, the shortest living dogs are going to be your Great Dane and Mastiffs. Okay. Um, they're gi uh, jumbo dogs yeah, they or, are, or they are. Ex extra large dogs. Your medium dogs, like your Labs and your Collies, your uh, Dobermans, that's a, a more of a large breed dog, but um, but they're going to live in the middle years. Smaller breeds, longest living dogs, you know, you're going to have your Chihuahuas, your Yorkies, anything under uh, 10 pounds are going to live the longest. Well, some great advice there. And, you know, it's a shame because everybody has their own preference of style. And yes, it's, they it's, do. You kind of have to decide whether or not. It's you know, worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. But I think, you know, yeah. as long as you get a good lifespan out of it, no matter what it is, you know, I think people will keep buying diverse yeah. breeds. You know, It's all about the quality of life that they have, right. not the quantity. Yeah. Absolutely right. Well, thank you, Jen, so thank much. Thank you, Brody. Really interesting facts there.